Alright guys, it is a absolutely spectacularly gorgeous, I do mean over the top beautiful day here in the end times in paradise at Bugs in a Jar Farm where uh, I need to get out to my rotten dying garden uh, and uh, see if, well, there's really nothing we can do as uh, about all of the rotting leaves in the garden, but uh, get out there anyway and see if there's anything I can do to stem this latest disaster here on the last day of July. It is Saturday morning, <clears throat> July 31st. 2021 and I was just over there at Collapse Chronicles doing the mainstream media roundup of uh, of Doomer stories you know Yahoo News <clears throat> doing an excellent job of of sending their bots out searching through the mainstream media news <clears throat> for news that might be of interest to doomers. So you can go over to Collapse Chronicles <clears throat> and uh, find stories uh, about Earth Overshoot Day and uh, Greenland melting and all the usual. But the two stories that I didn't have time to get to, I thought I would move over here because these are actually the two. If, if I had to choose... <clears throat> the two stories that probably more than any other two stories demonstrated the state of the planet and why we are so fucked it would probably be these two stories uh, that Yahoo News <clears throat> thinks doomers should be interested in and anybody who does not understand why these two stories uh, should be of interest to doomers. I don't know. Obviously, we have had a a uh, <clears throat> a failure to communicate. So, for the second time in a couple of weeks, I'm going to uh, talk about Britney Spears. Britney Spears showing up in the in the doom and gloom roundup. Britney Spears goes topless again shares snapshot from her vacation with Cher and more in Instagram spree. This is, of course, from Fox News, bringing you all the news you need to know. <clears throat> Take it away, Fox News. Britney Spears has plenty to say. The 39-year-old pop star took to Instagram on Friday evening to share several back-to-back -back post featuring another topless video, fan art depicting her with Cher, and more. Brittany's first post contained a photo of a slushy orange drink with a lemon garnish and a second pic of a decorative owl statue made up of smaller ornamental pieces. Also included in the post, was a video of Spears spending some time on a beach in Maui while wearing a hot pink bikini. In the clip, the toxic singer played in the sand and water as the song Take On Me by AHA played. The second post was a brief video featuring a topless Spears covering her chest while wearing only a pair of unbuttoned denim shorts. <clears throat> like previous posts featuring videos from the topless shoot, Spears captioned it with a trio of red lip emojis. A third and final post referenced a recent social media exchange with fellow music icon Cher. Last week, Spears said on social media that she would work to keep her, quote, dreams alive by thinking about visiting St. Tropez with Cher and eating ice cream, close quote. 
Cher, now 75 years old, seemed fond of that idea and said she would take Spears to the French town to, quote, eat ice cream to her heart's content, close quote, once the pop star is finally free. You know, the pop star being held hostage by her father uh, while she's not running around topless on beaches in Maui. <clears throat> Let's see. Uh, in a Friday evening post, Spears shared fan art made by Australian artist James Hiller. The image featured the toxic singer holding up an ice cream cone alongside the Mamma Mia Here We Go Again star with a banner reading Saint Tropez in the background. Uh, Spears joked in the caption, quote, Yo, 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 dreams do come true. Sharon and I went to Tropez. Friends? Yes. The posts come as Spears' conservatorship battle rages on in court. Yes. Uh, <laughs> yeah, she's jet-setting around. So if you enjoyed that story, uh, Yahoo News is sending you uh, over to the <clears throat> equally... Uh, collapse-related story, Miley Cyrus takes the stage in a graphic t-shirt, short shorts, and metallic go-go boots at Lollapalooza. But we're going to skip Miley Cyrus, and uh, we're going to head to this other story from the Doomer Roundup. This one coming from the Daily Beast uh, about, there's, I guess, I don't know who this, uh, clueless, uh, fucking moron is, named Adam Driver. Adam Driver. Hey, I guess he's an American actor. This is an article by a man, not a woman, a man, Kevin Fallon. And this is what Kevin Fallon has to say about the newest photo of Adam Driver. Shirtless Adam Driver on a horse has incepted, never heard the verb incept, has incepted my brain, my libido, and my entire being. So this is the photo of Adam Driver on a horse that has incepted Kevin's brain that we doomers need to know about. Take it away, Kevin, and uh, tell you and tell us about your problems of having your brain being incepted by this. <clears throat> okay. Adam Driver joins the hallowed ranks of celebrities who star in the over-the-top, gorgeously produced, and intensely pornographic fragrance ads for luxury companies. This is a micro genre of entertainment that I am fascinated by. Not even some of the Oscar winning films that these actors star in boast such sumptuous cinematography and adrenaline spiking storylines. That the storylines are utter nonsense and typically offer no indication that what you are watching is meant to sell a scent in a bottle is beside the point, or maybe exactly the point. Is it the product that matters, or the taunting temptation of hotness and wealth that is being peddled to us garbage humans. As we watch Natalie Portman act out a torrid romance in Paris 17 times during commercial breaks of dancing 
with the stars, a list of things it would be fair to assume this was an ad for if you did not know it was for Burberry Hero. I guess Burberry Hero is the fragrance that this porno actor Adam Driver uh, committing uh, bestiality with a horse it was an ad for Burberry Hero fragrances. A list of things that would be fair to assume this was an ad for if you did not already know it was for Burberry Hero. Fancy tight jeans. A nice beach somewhere. The CrossFit studio where Adam Driver sculpted those abs. An Olympics open water swimming event or maybe a PSA warning against drowning horses. Oh, it's for a cologne? Clearly, we are meant to assume that while challenging horses to a foot race and then testing their buoyancy in the ocean, Adam Driver always smells good. Oh boy, anybody uh, wondering why we are so fucked, uh, you heard it right here on the Doomer Review from Yahoo News, and with that off my chest, I'm going to take the Sancho Panza Rocks t-shirt. People, uh, I've had a couple of people uh, even ask me recently where they can buy the various t-shirts, the Humpty Dumpty Tribe t-shirt, which I have lost, the Collapse Chronicles t-shirt, and the Sancho Panza Rocks t-shirt, just in case. Now, I don't get one penny out of any of these. I created a count at Big Frog T-shirt shop, the Big Frog T-shirt shop in South Austin, Texas. I think that's technically uh, Sunset Valley, Texas. It was like several years ago. <clears throat> I created account. The name should be under Sam Mitchell. It might be under uh, tribes member David Henderson, but it's either under Sam Mitchell or David Henderson. So you look up uh, Big Frog T-shirts in Sunset Valley, Texas, and uh, call them and uh, tell them you want to order one of the T-shirts under either Sam Mitchell or David Henderson's name, and maybe there's a chance you can still find these collector's items, such as these Sancho Panza Rocks T-shirts. Just letting you know. But with that out of the way, a little rock star, and I need to head out to this depressing garden to uh, watch it die. Bye, guys. Are you ready to head over to the garden like that?